Today we're talking about one of the biggest problems when it comes to digital marketing and marketing online, which is how to get more qualified leads. Not more in terms of volume, but more qualified, like better people that are gonna spend more money on your products and services, they're gonna give you less headaches and hassle, the dream clients that we all want. How do we get more of those and less of the tire kicker types? That's what we're talking about today. My name is Darren Cabral and I'm the CEO of Suit Social. We're a digital marketing agency that helps companies like yours build their brand, generate more leads, and get more customers online. So let's talk about how you can get more qualified customers through your advertising. There's a few things you wanna consider. First of all, you have to know what a more qualified customer is. Who exactly do you want? Who's the perfect customer? What's their age? Where do they live? What's their income? What habits, what personality traits, what characteristics would really set them apart from other customers to make them that ideal customer, that perfect prospect that you just wish you had a thousand of. Drill down on that. Create a clear customer avatar. If you have a notebook, open it up and just start doing point form. What is that customer? What makes up the perfect customer? Write it out, look at it, right? What's their age? Is it male, is it female? Do they have five cars, one car? Are they Porsche enthusiasts? Do they have boats? I mean, what's that, what's that perfect customer like? And go right down to some of their behavioral characteristics. Maybe you can say, you know, they're people that make quick decisions or people that don't think too long or too much about things. They make quick, decisive decisions. Maybe it's people that are super busy and so they they're, don't have time to bug you about stuff, whatever it is. Figure out what that perfect customer is and start with that. Then you gotta figure out how you're actually marketing to them. This is very important, right? When you know who the ideal customer is, you can decide what do they respond best to. Like if you find out you have a very sophisticated customer, they're never home, they're super busy, they're, they're traveling a lot, that's your ideal customer. And then your marketing strategy is print marketing to their home where their you know, personal assistant or nanny is gonna just crumple it and throw it in the garbage. That's not a good strategy for that ideal client, right? You're gonna figure out where they are. Maybe there's certain trade shows they go to. Maybe there's certain private airports they use. When in doubt, social media can reach everybody. So that's always a good strategy, but you gotta figure out what that is gonna be and what avenue you're gonna take. Personally, cause I'm biased and obviously we're an agency that manages social media and digital marketing. I love social media, like I just said, because I can drill down on anyone in the world. Especially if you're targeting in the US, there is so much data. You can target people by specific income brackets. Even on Google ads, you can do that and say, hey, anyone over $500,000 a year that lives in this area, that has these certain habits, that works this kind of job, I can drill down that person in my advertising and get in front of the right people only and not waste money on anybody else. The third consideration, after you figured out who that avatar is and what channel you're gonna reach them on, the third consideration is what actually your advertising funnel looks like. If you're just putting up, a, a, especially a digital ad, like let's say you're just running a Facebook ad in front of a bunch of people where they click to book a call, chances are you're gonna have to do a lot of qualifying on that call because your prospects, your leads that are coming in don't have a lot of information on you yet. They see an ad, they're interested. Now you're gonna have to talk to them and you're gonna have a lot of tire kickers, a lot of people that are not a good fit, a lot of people that aren't ready to make an investment. You're gonna have those issues because you're the first person they're really talking to to get information from. However, if you build an advertising funnel that has multiple steps where you carefully select what information your prospect sees and when and guide them through this process of like discovery where they find out who you are, then education, they learn about what you do and then make them an offer where they figure out, okay, this is what I'm gonna be getting. By the time they talk to you, they can already know who you are, what you do and have a better idea whether you're a good fit for them or not. Especially if you work in your qualifying criteria, when you make ads and say, hey, we're a company that works with people that do ABC, that have XYZ, right? Put that in your ad so people that are watching go, oh, that's not me, I'm, just, I'm not gonna bother going forward. You wanna disqualify the wrong customers in your advertising. You wanna make sure that it only resonates with a certain kind of person, right? That's very important. Here at Suit Social, we actually have a strategy called acquisition branding, which does everything I just said. It's basically a way of running ads where you first build awareness, get in front of the right people with the right message and see who resonates with it. Then you acquire leads out of the most engaged prospects, and then you nurture those leads with further content, reviews, education, all kinds of things until they're ready to make a purchase decision. The goal is by the time a lead comes through all those steps, they're relatively qualified. You've already weeded everybody else out, right? So you've cast a very fine net over only the customers you wanna work with. So that's pretty much my three tips on how you can get more qualified customers from your marketing. Hopefully you can implement some of those in your business and let me know how they work out. If that was valuable at all, don't forget to subscribe, turn on those notifications and drop a comment below. I'd love to know what you guys are thinking of the videos. If you agree, if you disagree, I always like your feedback. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.